Please, top of the squad, 17. Please wait until we're both tied off and our ramp is in doing. So this is for your safety. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. When it comes to voting, uh, safety is paramount. Uh, if you enjoyed yourselves, you know, do tell your friends, family, All colleagues right, about us. We enjoy shout outs on TripAdvisor and Yelp, the maker or breaker of any business venture. Also, too, check Shoreline out for our water taxis that are here on the river. We also, folks, have water taxis out on the lake. And frankly, the best way to see our skyline is from Lake Michigan. The water taxi is a very inexpensive way to do this. It'll pick you up here at Navy Pier Lakeside and take you down to Museum Campus, the site of the 1933 Century of Progress Fair. Uh, for a bit more dough, 17 USD, 8 for children. We have larger boats that'll take you on a 30-minute journey up and down our skyline, all the way down to Museum Campus, and then as far north as where the Hancock is. And that's the best way to really enjoy what is arguably one of the world's most beautiful skylines. Also, in the words of one of our clients, a nice compliment to the architectural tour is our walking tour. Follow our docents through the streets of Chicago. They'll take you inside a lot of the buildings. More history, more culture. It's a lot of fun. Now, before we do dock again, if everyone could just have a seat, please, somewhere. Grab a seat. Um, the slightest nudge against the wall could send you off your feet, and we don't want any accidents. You guys will be okay. <laughs> The last structure I want to show you as we do dock, we'll see how they fare. <laughs> Straight ahead of us here, this very beautiful building, Lake Point Towers, 1968, by George Shipwright and John Heinrich, students of Mies van der Rohe. That's kind of why it looks like an international structure. Now, the curved linear facade there was engaged for wind bracing. When it opened up back in 1968, at 70 stories in height, it was the world's tallest residential building. Now, you'll notice it sits east of Lakeshore Drive. It's illegal to build on land east of Lakeshore Drive. Chicago did sue the developers when they tried to break ground on this building. They tried to put the kibosh on the development. A legal loophole existed then that Chicago closed right away when they lost this lawsuit. The building's not built on land east of Lakeshore Drive. It's built over the railroad. Yeah. Railroad air rights allowed them to procure this area as, again, you lease or buy the air from the railroad. They're like your landlords. Left Chicago out of the deal. 